of these great campsites with the amazing view are all in very deep water because of the snow. So I'm walking around trying to find somewhere to set up. All the spots that have space for a tent just have deep water like that. So hopefully I can find something before the rain picks back up. That way I can get my tent set up. This spot is by far my favorite yet. I'm so sad that it has about this deep of water on it because come on, look at that you guys. Just how wet my tent is. It's uh, a little bit concerning. I'm hoping I can get it set up before all of that comes in and starts raining again so that maybe it can dry out at least for a couple of minutes, but I don't know what's realistic or not. Even if I get it set up, it's hard to say if it's gonna actually dry. But I can hope and I can try. Ah, it's unfortunately starting to rain. I was lucky enough to even have a rain-free moment. Look at how chunky you are. You must get a lot of food here, huh? Once more, as I've said before, please don't feed the wildlife. This is what happens when we do. They end up not being afraid of people and they'll come right over to your things like this and it's dangerous for them. It's dangerous for us. Overall, it's just for stewardship. So please don't feed the wildlife. You guys, the sun is out and oh, I am so excited for this. I didn't think it'd be out until tomorrow. I know it's probably only gonna be out for like 15 minutes because I can see everything that's coming behind it, but I don't care. I'm gonna sit here and soak it up and let whatever I can dry, dry. And uh, just be grateful that I got it today instead of tomorrow. I wish I knew that the camera was gonna do justice to this place, but I know it won't, so you guys are just gonna have to come and see it for yourself. <laughs> Speaking of uh, gear failing, which seems to be the issue I have on this trip, um, the cord that I've been using to charge my phone is not working. Um, and luckily, this little family came up here just now and I went over and asked if they had a cord, and they do. So now my battery pack and phone are working just fine. It was definitely the cord because these are charging okay. Um, but it does make me a bit anxious because I'm going to fully charge my phone and then have apparently just this one last charge until I get out of here and I know it takes a lot of battery to fly the drone so so I'm just gonna have to be a little bit more careful about what I choose to take pictures and videos of and figure out a new cord when I get off this loop and before I start the next so <laughs> one last thing hopefully before uh, everything starts working
feels crazy to me that earlier today I came from over that and now I'm here. With the weather as nice as it is tonight, it's hard to believe what it was like earlier. It was, when I was in that deep white area or in the deep snow, it was just like a white out condition and um, lost the trail repeatedly and it was so cold and wet and snowing, raining, hailing, everything for hours. And now I look around and it's just uh, absolutely gorgeous and I'm really grateful for that. This is why I take my dry nighttime socks off if I leave my tent again. So now I just need to figure out what tomorrow is going to look like. I uh, will tell you guys a little bit more tomorrow once I figure it out, but with all the snow that we got and even just coming over the past yesterday, like I showed you guys, um, made me realize that some of the peaks I might have planned on doing are probably covered in very deep snow. Um, so I don't think I'll be able to do those. I'm going to have to make some adjustments. Um, but like I said, that's pretty much this entire trip so far. So I'm just going to roll with it and I'll let you guys know what I end up doing. <laughs> but for now, I... I'm going to sleep because I'm very tired and uh, yeah I plan on waking up early for the sunrise which nowadays is very early so um, hopefully I don't snooze through that. Good morning everyone. I, uh, it's about a little after five. I've woken up to uh, watch the sunrise and I'm a little bit tired but I'm glad that I did because the colors are really mild right now but you can tell that they're going to be very vibrant and just these mountains this morning. I don't know, they're beautiful. snag in my plan. If I look what direction I need to be, the sun should be rising right behind this, which means it might take a lot longer. <laughs> it's slowly making its way up. It's this amazing sunrise. I've already said it a few times, but if you've not been out here yet, you really should make your way out. It's absolutely beautiful. My eating has been a little bit weird this trip, um, partly because it's been cold and rainy and I haven't wanted to sit outside in the rain or snow to make meals. Um, and then last night, because everything had been so wet for so many days, my lighter wouldn't work. Um, it's working this morning, luckily. But uh, anyway, all that's to say is I've not eaten as much as I probably should have. So I'm gonna have a heartier breakfast that I would probably have had for dinner. Um, and I'm kind of looking forward to it right now. And then I'm still not sure what I'm doing for this today. I have uh, a couple things I'm gonna let you guys in on. 
of new plans that are developing and why and uh yeah either way in the next day or two trey's coming up here which i'm super excited about he's uh has a long weekend and is taking an extra tuesday off as well from uh the holiday weekend and so uh we'll be up here he's gonna meet me up here and we're gonna do five six days um on a different section of the wilderness out here almost like a game trail and then we came up around the lake and up this side to the back side okay and you and did all, all as a day hike yeah how long has it taken you now how long's it been an hour two hour two, <laughs> hour two. <laughs> we'll see if the next wind comes in and <laughs> oh man that's the best part. Is this, is this it? Is this your finished product? Well, are you proud of yourself? Four, four hours, baby. It's, Looks it's, pretty good. It's adequate. Oh. Not your best work? So. No, that is, that is not my best effort. Mm. It's all right. It's my brother. <laughs> Just leaving Alice Lake. Um, met Brian and Mason right as I was getting ready to leave. They caught here um, and actually took my campsite because I thought it was the best site and so did they. So Mason and is it Ryan? Or Ryan. Ryan. Ryan and Mason yeah. met them. Um, unfortunately, on my way out, I think Mason might join either me and Trey or me and Maddie um, later in the week. I told him where we were going to be and if his plan lines up, then he might join us at Saddleback or at Sawtooth Lake. Are you going to come to Sawtooth or Saddleback? Perhaps. We'll okay, see. so we might see him in a few days. And uh, if not, I think we'll meet up again someday at a different track, either out in Washington or down in Utah. In Somewhere. Washington or down in Utah. But you'll see them again at some point. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys will see them again at some point. They were really fun. Um, but yeah, so now I'm headed back down. Hi, Alice Lake. You've been lovely. So I've heard that I need to wear these because apparently there are five or six river crossings um, that you just have to walk through the water. There's not really a bridge or a log or anything to cross with. So rather than take boots on and off repeatedly. Um, and they also said, luckily, this part of the trail does not have any snow on it. So they're in for a nice surprise when they go the other direction on the trail. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I really like this little island right there. I think that is just absolutely beautiful. So they need to start having this sign um, on both sides so that no matter which way you come through, you see it because I did the loop the opposite direction, never saw a sign for it, definitely used my drone and uh, yeah, that sucks. I really like to follow guidelines and uh, I can't do that if I don't know, so kind of sucks. I haven't seen you in a while, and I see, what do I see here? This is my moustache. <laughs> the 
wind and rain have kind of started now. I mean, we're really pulling off the 70s porn star look. Like, it's come together. <laughs>